hey guys today i'm gonna see how to install a react testing library and configure your environment to run the test cases for you why the first thing we need to do uh, we need to install react testing library so we'll do so we will go to uh, the official uh, github repository for testing library they mention the process for installation will npm install and we are saving it as a tape dependency so we will run this command and along with this one we need a uh, just dom dom and the user event for the testing library so we'll want to install other dependencies also Okay, uh, we'll go for the next that is just DOM. and we have a last one as a user event as we can see the testing library dom just dom react is present here and i think this also completed so we have a user event also so the next step is to uh, create a folder config in UI. Not under coverage. Config. Uh, inside the config, the first thing is will set the for the just config.js new file that is inside of just config.js what will gonna first we'll gonna do module.exports and we'll gonna write module directories module directories so what is actual module directories it's an array of directories that uh, just will search for modules so first is uh, node modules I'm gonna add and the second one is start second thing it's a root directory the actual project it's a like it's a project root directory that means a project directory dot 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 slash we have to set up files after after environment so what is this one it's an containing an array of files that will be executed after the test environment is set up so we need to run we need to run a setup file so we'll create uh, just dot setup 
dot js and we'll add the path js dot setup dot js and the next thing is transform we're gonna add js.setup.js after completing this config file in transform uh, what basically transforming doing uh, it's a configuration for transforming files before they are tested in this case the code specified that any javascript file should be transformed using the uh, Babel just plugin with the configuration specified so we are using dot Babel RC for that so we're gonna add that config file is present so we need to create a .bebelrc file mm. we'll add um, we we'll add instructions there also after completing this one. So we are set up in uh, config dot rc After completing this one, where uh, we're gonna add a module name wrapper. Module name wrapper module name wrapper so what is actually module name wrapper it's a configuration for mapping between the name of modules and the actual file parts so in, in this scenario we're gonna um, we're gonna map the CSS and similar files to a specific chest plugin so we're gonna add our CSS. CSS is CSS as UI. specifying the path modules next thing is verbose it's true so uh, verbose set to means that just will print more detailed information about the test run after that collect coverage that means just will collect the code coverage information and coverage path ignore patterns so what is this one it's an array of file patterns that just should ignore when collecting code coverage so
so we are telling that root, root directory test test utils dot js ignore this one okay this is completed and we are uh, going forward to the what is the, uh, the next one is just setup dot js so in just setup dot js we are gonna add import our testing library just to dump and next to that bevel rc in our bevel rc we are gonna add presets is next bevel so configuration is done and after that we need to move to our package.json file so we're gonna add our test script to run so for that we we'll move to package.json we're gonna add our test script Right, just just as dash config config. Uh, what was the file path? Config just config dot js. and we are writing this to watch also test walls test to watch also we are going to write just just config dot config just config dot js right so we have written both the things but we need to add watch also right save it so before running we are gonna add a test case so we already have test cases so we have a test cases as a count so let's see it will gonna run or not so this one is enabled npm run test watch okay so uh, the issue is uh, by mistake I have written the JS config it's not a module name wrapper it's a module name mapper and uh, we are facing another issue because of 
uh, we are using a uh, uh, user event that is uh, 13.5 a version but uh, by default when you, when we uh, install that was it was 14 so we need to change it to the user email is 13.5.0 and let's see it's working or not yeah it's working fine so the installation configuration is done yeah thank you